Hi, I'm Don Bishop, Executive Editor and Associate Publisher of AGL Magazine. This is my editorial comment for the February 2021 issue. When Martin Cooper talks, people listen. He is, after all, known as the father of the handheld cell phone. This photo was taken shortly after Cooper placed the first handheld cell phone telephone call made in public, standing on 6th Avenue in New York on April 3rd, 1973. It made headlines. This is what that very first phone it looked like. That's Cooper speaking with me in an interview on January 24th. As you, as you can tell, it's rather large. The, the uh, design that we came up with was only about this big, Don. And then we uh, handed it to the engineers, and they had to put literally a thousand components into the box in a battery that was about half. The, side of this thing. the first call, Cooper called his rival, Joel Engel, who served as head of research at Bell Labs. AT&T and the Bell system wanted a monopoly for cell service with car phones. Cooper conserved of handheld devices and saw being able to compete with AT&T as vital to Motorola's future. In New York, Motorola placed two base stations capable of call handoff to demonstrate cellular communications. The company had plans to install a cell system called Dynatech for dynamic adaptive total area coverage in New York by 1976, but instead collaborated with American Radio Telephone Service Incorporated in 1979 to build an experimental Dynatech system in the Washington Baltimore market that began commercial service as Cellular One in 1983. The Motorola Dynatac 8000X handheld portable cell phone debuted 10 years after Cooper's first public call, somewhat smaller and lighter than the 1973 prototype. The world now has an estimated 8 billion mobile subscribers. Cooper will be speaking at 2 p.m. Eastern Time on February 11th at the AGL Virtual Summit. You can participate in an interactive session following his talk. Cooper says his biggest interest now is the digital divide. He sees a serious problem in the United States and worldwide in the sense that it is not possible to get a genuine education today without having access to the internet. In the United States, one of the most advanced countries in the world, as many as 40% of our students don't have access to the internet. Solving the problems of coverage and affordability is key to overcoming the digital divide, Cooper said. How about the cell phone of today? I'm not very happy with the existing cell phones. I think the smartphone uh, is a device that's designed to do all things for all people. And when you do that, you don't uh, design something that is uh, optimum for any of its features. Cooper reveals his cell phone of the future in his new book, Cutting the Cord, The Cell Phone Has Transformed Humanity, published by Rosetta Books. Meanwhile, Joan Cooper and many other fine speakers at the AGL Virtual Summit on February 11th at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. See you then.